if you're trying to pass the hair follicle test, you got to stop smoking that sh man. I was just bullshitting. And you know this, man. You know who it is. It's your boy, Cayenne. To become a commercial driver license holder, so you're going to need to pass your permit exam and get a commercial driver license permit. And you are going to need a, a seven year driving history, like a record of your driving history for the past uh, seven years. And you will also need guys, uh, pretty much a DOT physical. Now, once you get all those things and you get your license, you, you know, you pass your test, you will need to go to find a job. Now, certain jobs are going to require a drug test. We all know by now, if you want a job, they're gonna test you for drugs. They test you for marijuana. I don't know why they test for that stuff. There's way worse drugs in the world than smoking some weed, in my opinion. But that's another video, right? To get a job, you're gonna need to take a drug test. Now, there's mainly two types of tests that they'll do. Uh, either a urine test or a hair follicle test. A urine test, we all know, you know, just in a cup they'll do the lab test on it and the way it works is if you guys don't know they basically have a, a baseline of what level or trace amounts of marijuana are allowed before it's past that baseline and it's now above the limit that they allow so when your test past that limit you're basically you know disqualified from the job because you have too much of the drug in your system. For the hair follicle test, it's real simple. All they do is go ahead and take some hair off the top of your head. Now, I believe it has to be an inch. If your hair doesn't have an inch of hair on it, if your head doesn't have an inch of hair on it, they'll take the hair from your armpits instead. And if you don't have any hair on your armpits, they'll take it from your chin. But your chin is like a last resort, so your beard is like a last resort. For me, they had to take the hair from my armpits. So they took all the hair off because since I didn't have the length that they wanted, they had to get a quantity amount. So they chopped it all off. They like, you know, cut it off actually <laughs> with scissors. Um, and basically the time frame that you get your results is very quick. I took my test on Tuesday, my urine and my hair follicle test. And then on... Uh, Excuse me. And then on Wednesday, I got my results back saying that I passed the urine test. Then on Thursday, I got my results saying that I passed the hair follicle test. Then by Friday, they already CSRT booked my flight and I was on the plane in the, in the next couple of days. If you are concerned about passing your drug test, the urine part, that shouldn't be a big deal. All you have to do is just try to stay active to burn to actively metabolize. Met what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Metabolize the marijuana that's in your system. You know, you go to the gym if you can, drink some water, drink some cranberry juice to flush your system out, and then you'll be done. You You can do that for about a week. You know, if you want to be extra careful because you, maybe you just have so much weed in your system, do it for, do it for two weeks. If you're trying to pass the hair follicle test, you got to stop smoking that sh man. I was just bullshitting. And you know this, man. You got to stop smoking because... A hair follicle test will will tell you've been smoking for the past from the past three months. It could possibly be even four months. I've heard some say a year. I don't know how true a year is, but for certain you want to stop for three months and then to just to be cautious, an extra month. And don't smoke for four months. Take your test, you, you should pass. So don't try any kind of, you know, test um hack or you know, a hair bleach technique. The way how a hair follicle test works is when you smoke your weed, you have the cannabinoids, THCs in your system, it's in your blood. Now the hair, when it grows, is growing out of your skin. Your skin and all your blood has the THC 
cannabinoids, cannabinoids, whatever has has all that stuff in there. When your hair grows, it'll have those chemicals in your hair. So they pull your hair out, and it should show on the strands where you last smoked because you know the the hair will stop, the chemicals will stop showing up at some length of the hair. That's why they need an inch to see you know how long you have been smoking for. So don't try any hair bleach or hair dye products because it's not the hair itself that holds the chemicals that they're looking for. It's your blood and your hair is growing from your blood in your body. So don't try any tricks. Just stop smoking, you know? You know this, man. And it's very important if you think you're going to fail that test, do not take it. If you fail a test, it goes on a record of like you try to take a test for a job and you failed. You don't want other jobs to be looking at that. Hmm, this young driver or old driver, it doesn't matter. This driver tried to get a job, has no experience at all. But the first test that they took, they failed because they were taking drugs. That looks very bad for a new driver. As a new driver, everything you do in the beginning is very, it's important to either help you make more money or keep you at a intro level rate. I personally just stopped smoking. I cut that out cold turkey. I haven't smoked in like a year, two years actually. So do what you got to do, guys. It's a minor sacrifice for a major comeback, you know. You're just going to sacrifice smoking a few joints, a few blunts, a few bongs, whatever you, you, you like to smoke, you know, to better your life, you know, better your bank account, <laughs> better your family, and better yourself. I personally like the fact that I can live life sober. You know, it's not a necessity. It's not a necessity. It's a privilege. So just think about it as you don't need it, but you will get something else by just not smoking anymore, you know? Maybe down the line you can do, do it again. But if you're gonna be a company driver, if I was you, cut it out.